What's good, my powerful people? Back at y'all another video. Now, before we hop into the topic, make sure you drop a sub down below, drop a like on the video, and follow me on all my socials. Links gonna be in the description. Now, today we're gonna talk about a woman's emotions, bro. If you can't control no woman's emotions, better yet, if she just don't naturally get in her emotions over you, you ain't that guy. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you this: you have to send a, a woman on an emotional roller coaster. You gotta play with her emotions. Every man need a little bit of toxicity in him within a relationship because our relationships need turmoil. Women get bored so easy, bro. They watch all these shows about with relationships and drama. They see all these other different, you know what I'm saying, things, relationships on social media. Bro, bro, they always thinking about something. You know what I'm saying? I just said in an earlier video, women have dreams about you cheating and they still be getting mad for real. You see what I'm saying? Bro, it's just anything to create some type of chaos and some type of turmoil within a relationship. But I'm gonna tell you this, when you the nice guy, you try to avoid all that because it's like, you think that the woman's not gonna like that. You see what I'm saying? Nice guys try to avoid all the conflict because they trying to be the perfect dude. They putting on this front, they putting on this facade, they trying to do everything right. You see what I'm saying? Because you proving yourself to the chick. I'm this perfect guy. You need to be with me because I will never do anything wrong. I'm gonna put you on this pedestal and show you that you are a queen. And you know what's crazy? When you have that type of mindset and when you that dude in a relationship, women still ain't fulfilled. They still curious. You see what I'm saying? They still look craving something else. You feel me? You never gonna be enough even though you're doing everything in your power to be the perfect dude. It's still not enough. Because I'm going to tell you this, bro. A woman wants her emotions to be played with, regardless if she said it or not. She wants to be mentally stimulated, em emotionally stimulated, these different types of things. You know what I'm saying? Because look, bro. If you can't, because it's, it's just not, it's just boring. It's just boring when you're not that guy, when you cannot bring these type of things out of women. You're boring. You feel me? All women need this type of excitement because it's exciting to them when y'all arguing and it might lead to something else. You see what I'm saying? When she just start an argument out of nothing because that's what women want. Sometimes she might just want to be put in her place. You feel me? When you're the nice guy, you avoid all this conflict. Women do not want you to be perfect. Women do not want you to be perfect. If you can't control her emotions, you're never going to be the one that can take, you know what I'm saying? You're never going to be the one that can get her attached. You see what I'm saying? You got to be able to switch it up a little bit. You can't be scared to say things that you think might make her mad. You can't You can't be scared to do those things. You can't be scared to put her in a place. You can't be scared to tell her what it is. You can't be scared to, shoot, hang up in her face and go on about your day and ignore her when she start blowing your phone up. You cannot be scared to do these things. You cannot be scared to put yourself first, bro. You feel me? You can't be scared to let her know that you're living in abundance, that you can replace her. All these different type of things, bro. You got to keep a woman on her toes. But more, more importantly, you got to keep a woman on her stuff. You see what I'm saying? Because if you a nice guy, you born to things of that nature. You start falling off on your ground, whatever the case may be. What makes you think a chick going to stay respecting you? You don't respect yourself and hold yourself accountable enough to stay on your stuff. So, when, so a woman going to see that and she going to think she gonna think it's cool for her to, you know what I'm saying, not be on her stuff as well. She's not going to respect you. You see what I'm saying? Because women are natural followers. They looking at you to see what type of man you are. And if you are a masculine man, then she's going to follow you because you can lead her. But if she don't follow you, if she doesn't follow you, that means she don't respect you because you probably don't lead and respect yourself. You're boring. You see what I'm saying? A key way of controlling the chick emotions is being able to get in her head. You see what I'm saying? You get in her head by being unpredictable. You get in her head by doing the opposite of what she say. A lot of y'all are yes men. You know what I'm saying? You listen to your girl like it's your mama. You feel me? Y'all listen to y'all girl like she got a gun in y'all head. Do the opposite of what she doing. I mean, do the opposite of what she say. You feel what I'm saying? You have to create turmoil. Women need this type of stuff, bro. I'm telling you. You cannot I'm t You cannot be the boring dude. Women gonna always be searching for more. They gonna always be trying to get attention from some other dude. They always craving somebody that's more masculine than you when you are a nice guy. You see what I'm saying? You can't get in her head. She testing you. And, it, and this also when women test you more. They see that you not going to stand for nothing. They see that you don't respect yourself. They see that you'll do anything to keep her around and make her happy to please her, etc. So she going to test you more and more and more and more and more. 
It's like steady pushing your buttons to see if anything can get you out of character. You see what I'm saying? To see if you got any type of balls. Because this is what women want. They want to see your masculine side. They want to see your dominant side. They want you to put her in her place. You see what I'm saying? She always trying to see what type of dude you are. She needs that excitement, bro. She needs that emotional stimulation. Because you, you know, bro, a lot of times when you arguing with a chick, and it can be a real heated argument, she getting turned on the whole time. You telling her what it is you putting her in a place, she getting turned on. You see what I'm saying? But some of y'all can't experience that because you're the nice guy. You do everything right. How's she gonna get in your mind you do everything right? I mean, how you gonna get in her mind you do everything right? You so predictable. You so boring. How she, why would a woman think about you when you not around, when you boring? You see what I'm saying? A woman ain't gonna think about you and wonder what you doing if she know exactly what you doing. If you do the same thing every day, the same routine, text her at this time, call her at this time. Then on top of that, it's just overly inflated. Everything you do is overly inflated. Why would she think about you, bro? You see what I'm saying? You have to learn how to just go, go sometimes. You gotta have your own life. You gotta run your game, bro. That's what I'm saying. You gotta run your game with these women. You gotta be nonchalant. You gotta be emotionally unavailable. You feel what I'm saying? You have to be these different type of things because this is what women like. No woman on the planet want a nice guy. I'm gonna tell you this time and time again. Y'all already know this though. But some of y'all, it's hard for y'all to get out y'all ways. Some of y'all be stuck in y'all ways, bro. I'm telling you. But all that stuff is gonna bite you in the butt. You gotta become the most masculine version of yourself. You have to. You gotta understand how to get in her head. You gotta understand how to play with her emotions, bro. I'm telling you these things because women got all these options. And women get bored easy because they got all these options. So if you're not the dude that she gonna constantly think about, if you're not the dude that's gonna imprint her on a sexual level, you know what I'm saying? If you're not the dude that's constantly improving, leading her, being dominant, so she has to submit these different type of things, bro, it's not gonna last. It's not gonna last. You have to stop giving off this boyfriend vibe to women. You know what I'm saying? When y'all single, when y'all when y'all in the talking stage and these different type of things, you gotta stop giving off this boyfriend vibe. You want a woman to chase you. You see what I'm saying? How do you get her to chase you? First things first is by you not committing. But cause you being on your grind. You staying focused, you prioritizing success and improvement. You living in abundance. She might not be your best option right now, or you may be weighing options, or you might just want to keep all your options, whatever the case may be. You got to understand how your actions as a man dictate a woman thinking about you or not caring about you at all. You see what I'm saying? If you cannot please her sexually, she's not going to think about you and you're not going to get her emotions riled up. You feel what I'm saying? Women instantly, naturally become way more emotional once, once you actually give it to her. You see what I'm saying? You have to understand these things and use it to your advantage. I'm not telling you to be a complete a-hole to your girl and things like that and just cause unwanted chaos and unwanted problems. But I am telling you to have some type of substance. Have some type of mystery. You feel what I'm saying? Have some type of edge about yourself. You feel me? Because you got to know that you keeping yourself first, you being on your ground, you being dominant, you being masculine, etc. All these different type of things is gonna translate with women. You being able to get in her mind, you being able to put a fantasy in her head. You see what I'm saying? These different type of things. You being able to play with her emotions, center on, on an emotional roller coaster. You being unpredictable. You see what I'm saying? You being honest with her, telling her what it is, not just telling her things that she want to hear. That's how what a lot of y'all live. That's what a lot of y'all do. Just tell women what they want to hear. Yes, I like you. Yes, I'm feeling you. Yes, you the one. Yes, you're the only one I'm talking to. All these different type of things. All that is weak. You feel me? You don't want you want women to know that you the catch. You gotta be the prize, bro. 
What's so special about her to the point where you only dealing with her, only talking to her? You acting like this with her, you in love with her, things like that. What's so special about her? You see what I'm saying? That's all you can get right now. That's why you compromising. When you increasing your value, bro, women gonna be choosing on you and they gonna be wanting to prove themselves to you. It's way better that way, bro. A lot of y'all be in the feminine positions in relationships and talking stages, just in general with women, because you don't have nothing going for yourself. I am telling you, you have to have things going for yourself so these women can see you as valuable. You got to have a masculine side to yourself, the edge to yourself, a dominant side to yourself, charismatic side to yourself, charming side to yourself. You have to have these different aspects, bro. So you can keep her intrigued. You acting like her freaking husband is not going to keep her intrigued. It's not going to make her sexually attracted to you. It's not going to get her dripping. It's going to dry her up. You putting her in competition. You not fully committing. You know what I'm saying? You making her come correct. These different type of things. You ignoring her. You got to know what women really like, what really get them going, which they really be thinking about, what they really fantasize about. No woman is fantasizing about a nice guy. No woman is going, no woman is sexually attached or sexually attracted to a dude that she can run over, that she know everything about. You know what I'm saying? That ain't got no edge to himself because you're boring. Why you think women like thugs and stuff like that, bro? Because they so toxic. When things are toxic with a chick, when a chick is in a toxic relationship, it's hard for her to get out that relationship. Why? Because of all the different type of emotions she feel for this dude. One day she hate him, the next day she love him, but she'll never leave him. Why? Because she would rather change him than move on and start something over with a different dude. Women be dealing with toxic dudes in relationships. They be so attached to them. Then they finally break up or whatever the case may be, go on a break, etc. They get to dealing with a nice guy and they walk all over the nice guy take him for granted, et cetera, and eventually go back to the toxic dude. Why? Because that's what she really wants. That's what really get her going. You cannot fill that void of a chick that's been imprinted. You cannot rewrite that imprint as a nice guy. You see what I'm saying? That's why a lot of chick, that's why a lot of y'all, bro, y'all be getting finesse and play with women that you be dealing with because you come around with this nice guy act when she used to toxic dudes. You never gonna be enough. You want, because you gotta get rid of this mindset of I'm gonna show her better. I'm going to be better than her ex. Women be telling you everything that their, her ex did and stuff like that. And you be like, okay, I'm going to not do this. I'm going to not do this. I'm going to not do this. When in reality, you should be looking at it like, okay, she going for our list. So she going to go for even more with me because I'm going to be I'm more valuable. Simple as that. A lot of y'all be having a mindset of I'm going to be better than her ex. When in reality, if you really want to get her, you should be worse. Like I said, bro, do the opposite. Women are backwards. She say she healing and she want better for herself and stuff like that. She really don't. She don't. You see what I'm saying? She's steady taking this dude back. How does she want better for herself? Come on, bro. You got to read between the lines. These women tell you by their actions what type of women they are. By, they, by the dude that they deal with, what type, of, what type of woman they are. If a chick, if you look at a chick exes and things of that nature and none of them are nice guys or pushovers or, you know what I'm saying, simps, etc. What makes you think you being one of those dudes is what is what she wants because she said that you see what i'm saying i don't you why would you listen to a chick tell you what type of dude she wants when you can just analyze her exes women are walking contradictions you feel me it sound bad for them to say i want a dude that's gonna play with my emotions i want a toxic dude etc some of these women they actually be open and they say that but a lot of these women, they be trying to hide their true nature and conceal themselves and things and stuff like that. Trying to make it seem like they're somebody they ain't. Trying to make it seem like they want something that they really don't. But when you understand this game, you apply this game. And you understand that, bro, female nature is present in every chick. The interactions between you and women going to be different. But female nature is present within every chick. None of them want a nice guy. All of them want to do with some heads. All of them want to do that's masculine, that's a little toxic, etc. So if you really want to get into her mind and control her emotions, you have to be this type of guy. Simple. But it, but before I get out of here, it cannot be forced. It cannot be forced. What I mean by it can't be forced. If you was in a relationship with a girl for a year, 
and eight months into that relationship you was a complete simp but now all of a sudden you want to switch up and be toxic and be dominant and stuff like that it's not gonna freaking work or if you're just dealing with a chick and you're trying to act like this hard body dude that you really not when you really damn near a bitch you cannot do that women see right through all that bs bro that's why they understand to put you in a friend zone or ghost you or just finesse you when you a nice guy you see what i'm saying they already know what to do with you when you a nice guy because they've been dealing with those and it's freaking boring you see what I'm saying? But when you come around with something new, when you come around, you ain't playing with it. You, gonna, you see what I'm saying? You letting her know what it is. She gonna view you differently. You gonna stand out. When you can constantly get into her mind, when she constantly wondering about, about what you doing, who you talking to, how you really feel about her, et cetera. You got her. That's how you constantly want it to be. A lot of y'all, y'all have it like that, but then y'all start falling for the girl. And now what? The roles is reversed. Now she run a game on you. You got to apply the game. You got to understand the game. And you got to stand firm on your principles. You can never compromise. I don't care how good the guts is, how good she look, what she doing for you. You got to stand on business. Simple. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like down below. Comment some future to just subscribe. I'm out.